Well, it's that time of year again, November the 5th, soon comes round, and I'm just making myself up to the, the castle, making my way up to the castle, uh, highest point in Denby Town, and that's where they hold the firework display, 7 o'clock. So, it takes about 10 minutes to get there. in a chippy, absolutely packed. <laughs> Another fan. <laughs> I get recognised even in the dark. Display starts at seven. Um, they don't have a bonfire. They used to. But they don't have one. They haven't had a bonfire there now for many, many years. <coughs> but they did when we were kids. And that's another thing. It doesn't start until seven. Yet yeah, when we were kids, we finished school, rush home, get something quick to eat, and we'd be there at the castle at half past four, broad daylight, waiting for it to start. Couldn't wait. Anyway, about halfway up Mill Street now. I will be filming the display. Probably the whole display I'll get on camera. But that'll be a separate video. This is just like a vlog. It'll be packed then as well. It always is. You always get a good crowd on the two lanes that lead to the castle which is just off the top of Love Lane and Bull Lane will now be closed, they're closing from 6 o'clock until 8 because it was chaos one year the cars, they all got stuck there, they were there for hours and hours all trying to get from the place so they uh, closed the roads now I'll be going up Bull Lane Town. High Street, top of town. As you can see, all closed off and the top of Love Lane as well that'll be closed it's the only two roads where you can get to the castle by a car so not far off now okay this is the first half of Bull Lane and just there by that car there if you go through that gap Take you to the Goblin Tower. There's a few wandering about with uh, collection buckets. Huh? The castle's not illuminated. Usually like the castle up. Hardly anyone here at the moment. It's about half past six. But uh, give it about well, a few minutes to seven. This place will be absolutely chocker.
Just got to decide where to film it from now. I think I'll when I filmed it last year, because there's such a wide angle lens on this camera. So, yeah, I'll film it from there, I think. Handheld tonight, no tripod. It's the burgers. It's got two stalls, or three, well, one burger van, and there's one over there. They normally just have the one, but there's two tonight. So, yeah, you can see not many people here. Well, you probably can't see a thing at the moment because it's pitch black, but. Yeah, give it a, give it half an hour and this place will be absolutely heaving. Oh, there's a lovely smell from these burger vans, I tell you. Really nice. A few more coming up the hill now. I wonder why it's not illuminated unless they'll do it for the fireworks. It's normally illuminated. And then just before the fireworks start, they, they switch it off, switch the lights off, so no lit up castle for you to see tonight. Fire brigade is just arriving now. Another thing a lot of people, well we used to do when we were kids, go right up to the, as near as you can get to the castle, and that's not the best place, best place is a bit further back, but I can't go too back tonight because I'm filming this with this GoPro and such a wide angle lens on it, the further back you go the tinier the castle's going to be. Welcome to Denby's annual fireworks display. This event has been made possible by the generosity of our main sponsor, Lockstock, the emergency services, our volunteers, CADU and Denby Town Council. We all hope that you have an enjoyable and above all, safe evening. The stewards who are wearing high visibility vests are here to take care of your health and safety. They are all giving their time for free this evening so please give them your respect and follow their instructions if they ask you to move. Please note that alcohol is not permitted at this event. Food and drink are available from the vendors on site. The lighting of sparklers is also not permitted at this event. If you have brought sparklers with you, do not light them. Please take them home with you and have a bucket of water to hand to put them into. Sparklers burn at over 2000 degrees centigrade they are not safe for use in public places. Please do not light them here. The crew from Upro Fireworks will be lighting the display for you. Thank you all for coming out this evening and supporting the event. The display will start at 7pm. Have an enjoyable and safe evening. Thank you. Well, that's the end of another excellent firework display, as always.